I'm going to take you on an unexpected journey um, today. I was feeling that kind of in-between space of creativity after the holidays. It just kind of feels like there's this void that we've been so, so very busy. And um, I just needed to get into my studio and show up. And I had absolutely no inspiration and I was fighting myself just to get here. And so the thing that I do when I am in that space where I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't have any ideas. And to be honest, I really didn't want to be there. Um, I clean. I That's where I start. I start putting things away. I start cleaning things up. And every single time that I do that, I get... I get some tiny bit of inspiration and that's what's happening. I'm seeing I've got some new products that I wanted to try, I had some things out on my desk and I was as I was putting them away, I was like, "Oh, that's a really pretty color." And I haven't used that yet. And so you can see I start picking things up and then I put them back down because I'm like, "Hmm. Well, I might want to try that." And so I'm just I'm puttering. I'm just kind of there. I don't have a clue. I'm going to prepare myself to get ready without really having any drive or ambition to do it. But I'm committed to showing up for me, for my art. I and, and the other thing that I do too is I do try to do things a little bit differently. So I've I got a canvas out. It's a larger size. It's uh, 12 by 14 or 12 by 16. And I had these piles of collage paper on the floor and I, I section them out into colors like oranges and yellows and magentas and reds. And so there was a bunch of stuff on the floor from my membership content and the previous Sunday and all the different projects I'm working on. And every time I look at my collage papers, I'm always like, oh, they're so beautiful. And I think, how could I use that? And so as I started kind of feeling this little bit of spark, especially when I look at my collage papers, I started pulling things. And you'll notice that I'm pulling bright colors and all different kinds of things. Um, again, having no idea what I'm going to do. But you have to start somewhere. You have to just be there and show up. And whether it's a masterpiece or a mess, it's, it's a work of art because you're here. And this piece right here, that leaf it was really scribbly and scrunchy and leaf this leaf pattern I was like oh and then there was another one and I was like oh man I wish I need I wish I was blooming I wish I was growing I wish I wasn't in this stagnant place I feel like I'm underground and I was having this dialogue with myself and I was like underground like the in-between place of blooming this dark, cold ground. It's winter. And I was truly feeling that. And I had this whole story line happening in my head. I didn't know where it was going to go. But then as I was thinking about being underground, I was like, well, my roots are still there. My creative bones are still there. I just... Um, I'm stagnant right now. And that happens in winter. That happens in the growing process. And that's the conversation I'm starting to have. And now you can see I'm starting to pull out darker colors, more earthy colors. And it's all playing a part into what came out of this me showing up. You can see all the colors that I'm pulling in my nod of the head. I was like, okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this. I think I have an idea. And so I continued to kind of putter a little bit more and organize things a little bit more. 
And then I went to my really grungy ones. I pulled those out. Those weren't, those didn't need to be cleaned, but I now was on the hunt. I now had this idea and I'm thinking it through. And this is happening all because I just came and I started doing something. So I was going through all of my collage papers and all of my things. And now I'm like, okay, I think I have an idea. I've got this picture of this cold ground and I'm there. My roots are there. Um, but I'm just not blooming yet. I'm just, I just don't have the umph yet. And so I'm pulling out things that I haven't used, going through my books because I know I want to have some kind of neutral background. And I've got to find the right one. And I do. I find that right color, that rich kind of earthy color in my books. And I am starting to feel excited. I'm starting to feel this story happening. And from these pages, from this time, from this risky showing up and doing something, something magical has happened. And you'll notice I'm moving quicker. I'm, th I'm getting excited. I pulled out some high flow acrylics and I've got those ready and waiting in all these earthy colors. I've got a few bright ones out there as well, but I didn't end up using them. I've got my um, Liquitex matte gel, and I'm just going to go to town putting my papers down. And even my papers are telling a story, the story that I have going on in my head about what I need, where I am, the story that I'm actually living. I've got some lightweight um, texture paste. I've not used it maybe once or twice, but I know that it's light and, and dries somewhat transparent. And I was looking for that because I really wanted those, you know, a lot of those papers to kind of peek through this idea that I had. So I'm thinking about my, the, the cold ground and my roots and where when and how I want to bloom and so I took a trip outside and it's frozen my roots are frozen and so I had to bring them in and warm them up and it was such a great analogy to what we need to do for our creativity and look at this bucket of water that bucket of water I took pictures of the roots I took pictures of and I brought them back and allowed it to inspire me. I was so moved by the whole analogy of this process of the roots being frozen. And if once they thawed, they would have bloomed again in that bucket. Um, but it had just snowed and everything got covered up and we didn't get a chance to, you know, clean everything up. And those white pebbles in the dark and all of those things played a part in what happens next.
So I'm going to create my roots. I'm going to create my cold ground. I'm going to tell my story through my process. And what happened in this time was that I, I had titles for a whole series of art and how the ground thaws and how we um, take care of the soil and how we plant the seeds and how we emerge from the ground and how we reach for the sun to grow. And all of that story came from just showing up. And so I'm going to be doing a series and take you along for the journey. I hope you enjoy this process, this project today, and um, all the supplies and the um, links will be um, on the blog and the link to the blog is down below in the YouTube description box. The stencils that I use today will also be on sale. I hope you enjoy the project and enjoy my process.